All right, I'm going to show you how to do statistical analysis in your TI-84 calculator. All right, so I have some... All right, so I'm going to show you how to do statistical analysis in your TI-84 calculator instead of doing it by hand. So I have some numbers, right? And this, these are five uh, energy differences from a lab that I did, right? And so I want to see if uh, the range of zero falls within the range, right? So I'm trying to find a confidence interval for these numbers. And so if you remember confidence interval, to get that first you have to find the average, right? And then you have to use the average to find the standard deviation. And then you have to use the standard deviation to find the uh, standard uncertainty. And then you have to use that to get a confidence interval. And so the confidence interval looks like the average plus or minus two times the standard uncertainty, right? And so instead of having to do all this mess, you can use your calculator. So I'm going to show you how to do that, right? So here's my data. You're going to go stat and then edit the first one, right? So hit enter. And then you're going to enter all of this data into L1. Okay, now that you've done that, it's in L1, right? So you can go back to stat and then go over to calc and pick single variable statistics, right? So you just press enter. And then make sure list is L1, and then you go down to calculate, and it gives you all of this stuff, right? And so the stuff you need is your average, which is the first number. So you need uh, the X bar, and you also need the bottom one, the sigma X. That's your average, and this is two times your standard uncertainty. I should do like that, right? So this is the number plus or minus that number, right? So the way you're going to write it is going to look like average plus or minus sigma x, right? So for my data, my average is 0 0.0104 plus or minus, right? And then sigma x is 0 0.00557, so point zero zero five five seven it rounds down so that's my confidence interval for this data okay so what does this confidence interval mean right so now that I've got it like let's interpret it so this means that my correct answer or 95 percent the the 95 percent range of my answer right I'm 95 percent certain it's gonna fall within uh, 0 0.0104 plus 0 0.00557 and 0 0.0104 minus 0 0.00557. So let's show you what that means. So 0 0.0104 plus 0 0.00557 gives me 0 0.01597. That's the high end. And the low end would be 0 0.0104 minus 0 0.00557. So there's my range of numbers. So this confidence interval tells me that I'm 95% certain that my actual number falls between these two numbers. So that's the low end and that's the high end. And that's how to do a confidence interval in your calculator.